Who is this? Stepping out of the Pennine mist like a figure might emerge in the charged silence of a dark room. Who is this? Walking into history's long exposure with a camera in her hand. It's Alice Longstaff, photographer of the Calder Valley and Hebden Bridge and, by extension, the world. This is the story of photographer's shop as theatre, as gallery, as an almost sacred place of storytelling and news gathering. This is the tale of a remarkable artist and craftswoman who knew just how to frame a subject, how to make them relax, how to make them gaze deeply into the lens so that anyone looking at their portrait would understand everything about them, including things they hardly knew themselves. Alice took photographs for decades, capturing time as it passed and putting it on display for everyone to see. They used to say that if your picture got into the window of Longstaff's, then you knew you'd made it. Well, this film puts Alice in the window for us all to see. Without her, the visual world of this part of Yorkshire would be poorer and more threadbare. She showed us to ourselves. Alice Longstaff, thank you. I went to live at Colden on a farm in 1968 and I used to come down to Hebden Bridge and it was a bit of a dire place at that time. There was mills closing, demolition, empty shops and Alice's shop was a, a bit of a haven. It was, it was a delight, you, just one of the things you did, you went and looked in Alice's window. September 1921 she started work at um, Westerman's studio. Now, the, the business of Westerman's, this is on 25 West End in Hebden Bridge, was started by Crossley Westerman, who was by trade a fussy and cutter. Um, that was in about 1890. For many, many years, she didn't trade under her own name at all. Um, she traded under the name Westerman, and, uh, but Alice Longstaff, obviously, everybody knew her. You know, it's uh, one of those things she became an institution in her own right, in a way. Alice lived at a farm called Little Lear Ings, which was not far from where I lived. And um, I, I believe she was brought up there, you know, it was her parents' farm. Dare I say it, I, I thought she was a, a Yorkshire woman. Coming from down south, I found Yorkshire women quite strong, strong-minded strong and uh, sure of themselves in many respects. And Alice was definitely like that. She, she had a way about her. Yes, you didn't mess with Alice. I think, it, I think the pictures show that Alice certainly had a sense of humour. And I certainly think that Although none of the shots that are candid were obviously staged, they were staged in her mind in the way that she was almost predicting that that would make a great candid, humorous photograph. And many of the photographs show a great sense of humor. She used a, a twin lens Rolleiflex camera, which is medium format film, and you only get 12 shots per roll of film. So each shot was valuable. Some of the pictures that we've found that were probably at the end of the role of a film to use up the film so it could be developed so they could show the, uh, the client what she got on the day, um, a, a really sort of candid, we call it street photography today, but the, the, the really sort of candid off the cuff photographs where she literally must have looked round and thought, oh, there's a photograph there, I'll take it, and she took it. And, and the results are truly, truly amazing, really. I think some of the, the quirky things, some of the quirky pictures, you know, tell us that she did have a sense of humour and her, her own way of looking at things. To date, we have digitised round about 1,000 images or so. Uh, and of that 1,000 images, 
there is easily 150 or so which are truly outstanding images. We're setting up a database with all the photographs and we try and get as much information about the photographs as we can because a picture without any information isn't much good, particularly when they're portraits. Um, and we have a website and we put stuff onto the website in the hope that we get, and we do, we get feedback, information about them because it is such an important collection because it shows, shows the history of this area over quite a period, you know, starting from the late 1800s and the, the development and the changes in the area. I think that's important because, you know, youngsters nowadays have no idea what it used to be like and it's quite different. You know, the town, the area has changed dramatically over the last hundred years. I think Alice's legacy, um, and particularly her photographs, will live on for many and many a year. And, uh, and we will already have a long staff close in, in uh, Ebden Bridge, which is very nice. And it, it's nice that, uh, you know, people remember her. She was a lovely character. And I miss her. I miss her.